Today is finally the day. I've now owned the Veyron for three weeks. I put just over a thousand miles on the car. I own roughly 5% of the total miles, but it still doesn't feel like my Veyron because the previous owner, he wrapped the car, he put the anarchy wheels on the car and it looks incredible, but it kind of sort of feels like his car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. So we're going to be modding the Veyron today, but in other news, the Aventador is kind of sort of dead. She, I mean, she is dead. Well, she's not dead, but like, she died again. I'm gonna reveal the surprise immediately. We're getting new wheels installed on the Veyron, but they're not just any kind of sort of wheels. They're off of Veyron Saint Noir. The Saint Noir is this really cool special edition Veyron. The wheels are very expensive. They look very cool. They're diamond cut, but almost more importantly, they come with a factory set of tires. Now the current tires on the Veyron, these are not factory tires. They're not rated for top speed. If I wanted to take this car 250 miles an hour, the tires would blow out and I would die. And that would be a bad day. And today's a beautiful day. The factory tires, theoretically, you can go top speed. So I don't want to ruin the surprise. I don't want to say too much. There might be a top speed video kind of sort of suit. I'm also trying to figure out, do you guys like this blue interior? It's kind of sort of cool, but I wonder if we could find an upholster to make it even cooler. Also, yes, we're still running on 850 horsepower. I'm trying to find 93 octane, but I, I just, I cannot do it. Are we ready? There we go. Nothing like a cold start up early in the morning. We got to move the Raptor though. I don't want Oscar's ego to get inflated, but we have Oscar air fresheners for sale on the merch website, uh, thestratman.com, go check them out. It smells good, it does, it's vanilla. The Aventador has died a couple times on the channel and that's exactly what happened again. So it'll start up right now, theoretically, but it obviously has a major issue that we need to get sorted. This is happening again. The gas gauge, we're at one right now, one. I think we get eight miles to the gallon, so I think we have eight miles. There's just something about that 91 life. I don't like it. I don't like 850 life. Come on, Utah. Get better gas. Oh, great. I have two Utah Highway Patrol right next to me. This is happening. Oh, nope, we're good. We're good. We're totally good. We live, we survived. I'm inspired. Okay, I'm annoying. I know a lot of you guys have been suggesting that I should use Octane Booster because here in Utah, we only have 91 Octane, so I'm running on 850 horsepower. At 93 Octane, we have 1,001. So I called my Bugatti engineer. That's right, I got a Bugatti engineer. Boys, we have made it. Uh, he told me no. He said no Octane Booster. I didn't ask why. He's a Bugatti engineer. I'm an idiot. As an idiot, I say yes, I follow the rules. I don't know why. I just want each and every one of you guys to appreciate the enormity of this chassis mounted wing on this Lamborghini Gallardo. That thing is massive. Welcome here to Envision, where automotive is personalized. Nate is cool. Don't worry about Nate. Nate is awesome. But check out the purple Vossens on this Mercedes. Those are ridiculous. Dude, I awesome. need those. Yes, you do. On the and Bugatti? You need this purple on the Bugatti on the front. Wait, are we, is that what we're doing today? Are these my wheels right here? Oh, we can ask Taylor. Okay, let's ask him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere, we got Grady in his new GT3 RS. Looks so sick. Maybe we should wrap the bear on lizard green. Lizard hmm. green. You good? You catch? Oh. <laughs> Forgot to mention the turning radius on this car is the worst oh. turning radius ever. We got the whole squad rolling out the new Sang Noir wheels. They look so cool. Look at the monstrosity. So these are 365s. My baby little hands are right there. The widest production tires in the entire world, 254 miles an hour. So we are swapping out those wheels for these wheels right here. So there's a singular jack point right under the Veyron that actually lifts up the entire side of the car. Super, super ingenious. I'm telling you guys, Bugatti builds the smartest cars in the world. Look at the massive monstrosity of that rotor right there. So one thing I never told you guys, my Veyron actually has the upgraded Super Sport suspension. It's like a $100,000 option. And these Saint Noir wheels are 80,000 euros. 80,000 euros and the tires are $38,000. Oh, what did I do? The monstrosity of the rear tires are insane. Just look at all the suspension right there, just waiting to break and make me bankrupt. At 254 miles an hour, that's what we need right there. Suspension looking oh so pretty. All the carbon fiber, like every single piece on this car is effectively carbon fiber. Don't take it too literal. Not everything is carbon fiber, but a lot of it is carbon fiber. The majority of it's carbon fiber, like carbon fiber, carbon fiber, more carbon. Like the possibilities are endless. I don't hate that. That's pretty cool. It looks like the Super Sport World Record Edition. Right here. That's the Harlequin. That was another. Yeah, yeah Harlequin. Wait, go back to the Harlequin. That's my budget. So right we there. were kind of sort of thinking of doing that also. Maybe not. We might not. I know I know a lot of you guys are being triggered. You're typing away, but it's kind of sort of fun. Like the possibilities are endless. The Veyron, because of its design, like it just fits the two tones so well. 
I like those orange wheels too. I don't, it, it could happen. The Anarchy wheels looked awesome, but these Sang Noir wheels, they just have like more meat to them. It just fits the design of the car so much better. What do you guys think? It looks so sick. So good. And the good news is the TPMS sensor is off. So I don't think the Anarchy wheels even have TPMS sensors. So we are good to go. We can now unlock the full potential of 254 miles an hour. I'm so nervous driving the car right now because if I puncture one of these tires, we have to replace all four. They're $38,000 a set. There's only one shop in North America, Bugatti Beverly Hills, that has the equipment to actually glue the wheels to the tires. So we're not gonna run these wheels tires very often only top speed events like next week. GPS took me this way. This is the last place we want to be. Mid construction project, praying that we're not going to get a flat tire. I hope we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good, but we really don't know. And go. Jeez. <laughs> Brakes. If there's any executives from the West Jordan Airport watching today's video, please call me. I want to run the Bugatti at 250 miles an hour on your airstrip. So we're headed off to Agility Customs. They actually move locations. And just like that, welcome here to the new headquarters for Agility Customs. And naturally, we have Todd with his ZR1 wagon. That car is an absolute banshee. And just like that, welcome here to the new headquarters for Agility Customs. Gears, suspension, wheels, and tires. My only question, where is six by six conversions? Hmm. We are getting full exclusive, unprecedented access at the new headquarters for Agility Customs. There she is, the Gladiator. The purple looks so good. Oh, I miss that color in my life. Agility Customs is just moving on up. The new headquarters, square footage everywhere. Dublin. Huh? Dublin. What does that mean? Double. Double, oh gosh. Well, the dad jokes are back. Oh, Immediately, that's... we're here for 10 seconds. It's dad joke nation. That's French. French, je ne parle pas français. You have a French car and you don't even know? That's true, okay, okay, fair enough. Dublin, the turbo. <laughs> Anyways, here she is, boys. The Gladiator 6x6, the Hellosaurus. Dun, 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 dun. The visualization right there, you guys. Like, check that out. This Gladiator is gonna just break the entire internet. So, Todd, tell me what's happening. So, we're gonna take and extend the frame like this. So that's the mock-up right there. So the key to this entire build, we want it to look factory. So you'll notice, you got this little curvature here in the current frame, we're gonna try to match that. So this is just a mock-up right here, you can see that. So the frame rails are being built right now. Yep. They're almost done and they're gonna be welded on. Next week. Next week. We have the third axle right there, you got the pass-through axle, you can see the drive shaft connection right there. We're gonna get a new drive shaft built right there. Boys, like, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. The proportions, are absolute perfection. That's really the goal in this project because there's some other six by sixes out there that look good, but we want it to look great. We cut the frame a while back. This is that section right there. So we're basically building the middle section and then we're gonna weld the middle section onto this in section right here. You can see the factory bumper as well. We wanna maintain as much factory hardware as possible. Like we want it to look like this came straight from Jeep. We haven't had any purple on the channel in forever. The matte iced amethyst titanium, it looks so good. Guys, check this out. In about two to three months time, we're gonna be rolling with a purple Veyron and a purple 6x6 Gladiator. Like, that's cool. The reincarnation of the purple army, it, it, it's getting better. Okay, that was like, that, I, I hyped that up so well and then I fell flat on my face. The reincarnation of the purple army is gonna be majestic and kick cut. Just take a moment and appreciate that Gladiator. Next time we're coming here, it's gonna be a lot closer to being finished. Out of nowhere, we got the lime green Viper. That thing looks so sick. V10 up front, W16 right there. Look at the massive wing on the back of this thing. This is awesome. Todd, this is what you need, bro. Need when are you getting a Viper? I need a Viper. That's what I've been telling you. Every day, there's a Viper coming to Todd at Agility Customs very, very soon. They look so cool as a pair. I can't be for certain, but yep, Todd is on Auto Tempest looking at Vipers right now. Coming to Agility Customs very, very Don't soon. Don't tell my wife. That green accentuates your eyes. It's beautiful. Doesn't it? This is Todd explaining a W16 yeah, right there. This, this that's a W16. That's an 8 liter W16. <laughs> yeah, you see? The more you know. Rocket science. Exactly. I've now owned the Vera for 20 days and I've driven it every single day. Brakes. Oh my gosh. Cars just like stop in front of you. It's crazy. It just accelerates so quick. Hello, West Valley Police right there. Don't worry about it. My tent is definitely legal. I'm pretty excited about these Sang Noir wheels. Sang Noir means Black Knight. That's what Burlacher told me. If my French is wrong, that's, that's totally on him. But I think it just makes the car look so much more beefy. 
I don't know, what do you guys think? Also, like I briefly mentioned, my car has the upgraded Veyron Super Sport suspension. So I have the same suspension as the Veyron Super Sport. It was one of three R&D cars that was actually sent back to the factory in France. It's like a $100,000 option. Now, truth be told, I haven't really driven enough Veyrons to notice a difference, but someday I'd love to drive another Veyron, drive my Veyron, and see if there is a difference. I'm assuming there is, it's $100,000, but in Veyron world, I feel like everything's $100,000. I took seven years of French. My French teacher should be very, very disappointed in me. Saying noir means the black blood. Black Knight would be noir nuit. So I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, when you listen to Burlack, you take it with a grain of salt. The black blood, that's pretty cool though. It's so crazy to see these tires from underneath the car. 365 millimeters wide, the widest production tires in the entire world. Also probably the most expensive tires in the entire world. There's just something about these newer wheels, like the Anarchy wheels, I love the look. They just kind of sort of look like lightweights, whereas these Seng Noir, they just look meaty. They got some good meat to them, some good girth. The Aventurers are 355 millimeters wide. Now, that is going to effectively end today's video, but we have one last item. So tomorrow, first thing in the morning, the Shelby Raptor is being driven down to Las Vegas, Nevada to expel Las Vegas to get a very new custom wrap. I'm super excited to reveal it, but that means for the next week, I'm gonna be daily driving the Ferrari 458, which is not a bad thing, but it's gonna be kind of sort of odd. Oscar doesn't have a car. Anyways, uh, that is going to effectively in today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button, but just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.